How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I'm a first year Canadian medical school student and today I'm going to be talking about five simple tips that I used to score a 131 or 99th percentile on the car section of the MCAT. So the idea for today's video is to just make it as short as possible, get right to the point for all of these five tips, but if you guys want another video talking about how I studied and how I think everybody should study when it comes to killing the car section of the MCAT, I'm just going to go ahead and link it up here. And guys, don't forget if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and leave it a like, leave me a comment below letting me know, uh, and let's get right to it. So the very first tip when it comes to the car section of the MCAT is to pick one of the three strategies that have to do with answering cars passages and reading cars passages and sticking to it throughout the rest of the time. Now when it comes to the three different strategies for answering cars passages, the very first one that you're going to try out and see how you like it is to take your time in reading the passage first. You're going to spend about five to five and a half minutes first reading through the passage and making sure that you have a very thorough understanding of it. And then you're never going to go back to the passage after that. Then you're going to go to the questions and use what you remember from the passage and how you understood it to answer the questions in the best of your ability with the remaining time that you have left. Now keep in mind that there's only going to be 10 minutes total allotment for each of the different passages, but we're going to talk about that a little bit more later. The second strategy that you could choose from when answering cars passages is to go and skim through the passage first, kind of take about a minute to three minutes, kind of just glossing over it, taking a few brief notes. Then going down to the question section, um, trying your best to answer as many questions as you know, but then go back and forth between uh, the passage and the questions until you're able to answer all of the questions. And then finally, the last strategy that some people like when answering cars passages is to start off by reading the questions first. Go through them and then go back to the passage later, read through looking for the answers and then take your time answering the questions. Those are the three different ones. In my opinion, I personally like the first one where I would spend a decent amount of time reading the passage, getting to understand the passage without actually looking at the questions later. Because then I found that when I was looking at the questions first, all of my interpretation of the passage was going to be very biased based on what I thought that I was looking for. So in my opinion, I would start off by reading and understanding the passage first, uh, but try them all out for yourself and pick one that works for you, then stick with it the rest of the time and get better on that one strategy that you've chosen. The second tip for the MCAT card section is to, as you're going through the passages, take a uh, pencil or on the actual test day, you're going to have a marker and whatever sheet of paper you have in front of you and make little notes summarizing important points as you go through the car section. What I like to do is take the passage, divide it up into paragraphs, and as I go through, just make very quick jot notes that would help me keep the information in my head just long enough that I would actually remember it for the questions at the end. You don't even necessarily need to read the notes that you write down, but just the act of writing things down helps you to remember remember the information for just long enough that you could actually use it for answering the questions. The third tip for the MCAT car section is to cross out answers that do not make any sense when it comes to you actually picking the correct answer. The MCAT is all about, it's a game of numbers, guys. A lot of times there could be two or even three answers that all sound like they could be right. But as you go through, look out for certain words in the actual possible answers that give them away as being incorrect. If you could cross out more incorrect answers, you'll have a better shot at guessing between two possible answers here. And although you might not have actually known the correct answer for sure, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as long as you got the question right. The fourth tip for MCAT cars is to go into every single passage with a blank slate. Don't carry any previous information over from what you've known before about that particular topic. But really, try your hardest to put yourself inside the author's shoes and how they feel about the topic. Keep on the lookout for certain words that might give away how the author feels about certain points that they're trying to bring up. That way, when questions are asked that might bring in new pieces of information and they want to know uh, how this would strengthen or weaken the author's argument, if you have a feeling of how they felt towards making a certain point, it's going to be a lot easier for you to take this information and use it to kind of choose your answer now. 
So now the fifth tip for MCAT cards and probably the most important is to learn how to bank time as you progress through the passages. In your standard MCAT cards uh, section, there are going to be nine passages and 90 minutes to do all nine of these passages. So in total, you cannot let yourself go over 10 minutes um, for each of the nine passages. Now the good news though is that not all nine of the passages are going to be super difficult. The way I see it, there are actually four different degrees of difficulty when it comes to the different passages. You're going to have your easy ones, um, your manageable slash moderate ones, the hard ones, and then finally the Jackie Chan confusion meme ones or the JCCMs. Now there's no set order when it comes to how these passages will show up on your actual section, but what you want to do is realize which ones are the easy ones which ones are the moderate ones, and then which ones are the more difficult ones. When you're faced with an easy passage, what you want to do is not take longer than you need to on that passage. If you can finish it in about eight and a half minutes or eight minutes, and you feel very confident in your answers, don't stay there for the full 10 minutes, move on to the next one and bank those two remaining minutes that you had allocated because each of the questions we had set aside 10 minutes for. And then conversely, when you come across a harder passage, do not under any circumstances go over the 10 minute mark at a first pass. Cut yourself off at 10 minutes, give it your best shot and then move on. As you go through though, you'll eventually come across some more easy passages, you'll make it through them a lot more quickly, and then you'll bank that time. And then at the very end of the test, once you've made it through all of the passages, you're going to then take that banked time, go back and finish off the more difficult questions. Remember though, it's all about getting as many questions right as possible. So as you go through, if you are going to go through the passages uh, and save them for later, what you need to do is give it your best shot in the limited time that you have, take your best guess, but then make use of the star feature on the MCAT, star that question, and then come back at it, give it a second look, but do not progress past it until you've actually given it your best shot. All right guys, and those are my five tips for MCAT cars. Those are what I use in order to score a 131 on my own test. Uh, but now as a quick bonus tip, because I've gotten a few questions about this so far since my last video, I'm gonna go ahead and leave some free MCAT cars practice passages in the description below. You're gonna need them because there's gonna be a lot of practice associated with studying for cars. Um, I think there's well over 200 that I'm gonna have linked below and they're totally free. So feel free to go ahead and check those out. Just remember though, as a general rule, the Khan Academy passages, in my opinion, were probably the closest in terms of difficulty to the actual passages um, that I saw on my MCAT, at least from my test anyways. And then the AAMC official practice tests are gonna be probably your best resource no matter what. Those aren't free, you're gonna have to pay for those, so I would recommend saving those too until the very end, once you're a little bit more comfortable. And all right guys, that, that's pretty much it when it comes to practicing uh, for the MCAT cards and the tips that I have. And just keep in mind guys, the very first time that I sat down to, to write a practice test for the car section, I scored like a 125. So, you know, it, it is entirely possible for you to move from a low score to a much higher score. You just gotta put in the time, study properly and effectively and, and for long periods of time, and it's gonna pay off in the end. Um, leave me a question if you guys have any in the comment section below. We'll see you all next time.